Hey guys, thanks so much. Well, Japan is now the mid of the rainy season and it's really humidity and muggy and you know my hair will mess up if I am outside. And this season we call to you as you know. And how we express this season is mushi atsui. Maybe some of you may know atsui. Atsui is a hot. Atsui. And mushi means steamed. For example, if you steam the potato in Japanese, we're gonna say uh, potato wo mus. Or the steamed potato we call mushi potato. And this mushi means that the air is really humidity as if we are steaming in the pan. So we always express, well, today is so steamed hot day. Or it's really steam, steam day. So please remember to these two words, mushi atsui and mushi mushi suru. Well, I hope that these two words will help you. And today topics, I'm gonna talk to you again about the bow because when I see the whole my channel, I found it that the Japanese unique behavior will hit rank two and it seems that people are interested in a Japanese culture of bowing. So I'd like to talk about more of bow in Japan. Well, if you wanted to see the, my first video about the bow, please check this video. In this video, I'm talking about when we bow, what the meaning of the bow. But today, I'm like to introduce you guys the Japanese really interesting or let's say funny, <laughs> funny bowing what I see in my whole right life. So the first one is that we are bowing in this situation. If the pedestrian cross over the in front of the in front of the driver, then sometimes the pedestrian will bow to say thank you to stop. Can you believe that? That so it means that the pedestrian will bow to the car. And it's also the same as if the car cross over cross over the road and someone is waiting and he's not crossing the the road because of this car, then the car driver will bow to the pedestrian. This will happen. So in Japan, even though some person is inside the car, we will bow. And this is more surprising is is a bus driver. If the bus company is the same, when the bus cross over like this, the bus, you know, pass by one another, then the bus driver sometimes bow in and this is saying, hello. And I often see this. And more surprising is that even the train driver will do bow in. The some driver is on the train and some driver is on the, you know, the platform, then they gonna bow each other. And maybe some of you may um, witness this, but the Japanese Shinkansen uh, will arrive to the, you know, platform. Then the cleaner, uh, clean stuff, we're gonna clean the whole uh, train. They are waiting in the platform. And when the, you know, train enter to the platform, the every stuff will bow to the train. Maybe they are bow to not to the person but to the train because because of the train they have a you know they have a work and because of the train they have the customer so you know Japanese will also bow not not only for the person but for the you know train or you know to the car and this is maybe <laughs> seems really interesting for you guys and second thing what I would like to introduce is maybe uh, this is a really famous story but we Japanese bow over the phone and this is really really true even I always bow over the phone and when it comes to the businessman we are really really bow over the phone it's like this so this this is very very common, you know. 
we are always, always bent over when we are talking. And even nobody can see you. Nobody can see you. We are bowing over the phone. This is really true. And not only for the phone, we also bow over the intercom. If you push to someone's home in the home, intercom. I'm sorry that we Japanese won't say much much over the intercom. So let's do it again. あ、すいません。あ、JKyosai even there is no camera. We are so get used to the bow, so we can't stop it. We can't change our custom. So we Japanese basically bow to the person, the car, the shinkansen, and the phone, and the intercom. Well, we bow even nobody can see it. But we bow each other when we can't see each other, when we were really there. Maybe you can't understand. Well, let me let me explain. Well, please, please imagine that the situation And they, you know, say bye bye over the, you know, elevator. And in Japan, this is really true. We are told not to up your head until the elevator will close. So, if the, you know, some business meeting at the end up and they're gonna say bye bye uh, over the elevator, they're gonna bend until the door closes. Now bend over and you may notice that the elevator will move or the, you can't hear any voice from the outside. Then you can, but you know, sometimes someone hit the button and then the, suddenly the door open again. So even you confirm the door closed, but someone pushed the open. And if you, bend, if you see there, if you find the door is open, then you have to do this. And this is a really, really funny, but we Japanese, most of all the Japanese businessmen do this. So if you visit the Japanese company, I'm not sure whether you have a chance. If you're gonna say bye bye over the elevator, please bend over the, till the door close. And actually, this is a really interesting story, but this is really happened to me when I first enter my first company. I was really nervous and I know that I have to bend over till the door closed. So this is my very first and I said, And I was thinking, well, maybe the door will close automatically so I stay I have to stay in this way. But it seemed the door will not close and it's it I feel it's like a forever. Well, I saw that maybe I forgot to put the close button, but even I forgot to put push the close button that the elevator will close. So I just waiting for like this. But suddenly, you know, it's really funny, but suddenly the door closed and it will hit my head. Can you believe this? Can you believe this? Well, I said, I shouted, Ita! and I laughed. And I said, sorry, sorry. And you know, the HR staff are really, really get laughed. And they said that they feel that I am really a serious a girl. As she uh, went over till the door hit me. So this is my, my very first memory of my balance through my business life. So maybe this story will also tell you how the bowing is important in Japanese society, um, more in the business situation. So today I wanted to share the Japanese bowing. We Japanese bow to you know the car, to the person, to the phone, to the intercom, to the elevator. It's so funny. I hope that you could enjoy today's video, and I hope that you will see you again. Bye bye.